Howdy folks, Monty here in the Bay Area with my review of Speed Freaks. Now, it's been a long time coming, I've been waiting for this day. But I really wanted to make a commentary associated with all the review videos that are coming out for this thing. Games Workshop, in all its wisdom, did not send me a free copy of Speed Freaks. And I actually debated, because no one's really clear when it's coming out, but... <laughs> I actually debated whether I'd buy a copy of it, but it is too expensive in the US for me to justify buying a copy of this thing. And you won't hear that in any of the Games Workshop Delivered Games reviews that you see on YouTube. What's worrying me is that there's a kind of monoculture now on YouTube where Games Workshop sends out the latest stuff to a bunch of people. They do reviews, which, you know, tend to be positive. That's very strange, you know, that people do positive reviews when they haven't actually paid money for something. And, you know, this continues on. And it's seen as being a great thing associated with Games Workshop finally understanding the YouTube community, but actually what's happening here is that they're just getting a bunch of advertising for stuff that probably people should be slightly more critical for. I did want to show something, however, in this video. So I did get to Games Workshop, a uh, local one, and I did pick up this little guy yesterday. And I thought to myself, the cost of this thing is probably proportional to what I see in Speed Freaks, which is really just eight models, basically. I mean, the track and all this additional stuff. Hardware printing is next to nothing. I suspect it's actually a distribution issue that they don't do any of the printing outside of the UK. If they did their printing of this thing outside of the UK and then shipped it to the various locations, it might be a bit cheaper, but anyway. So I did pick up this guy. The main question I have for this guy is whether, or well, who I send it to, really. The way that I, I don't know how one would describe it, the way that I represent any interest in this Games Workshop thing, the ongoing hobby, is through sending stuff to people to paint. A friend of mine picked this up in uh, Texas. So. Shoutouts to Derek. <laughs> but yeah, so... I. Picked up a, a couple of rarities. I really don't like resin. I'm just not a fan of resin at all. But anyway, I picked these up and I thought, well, I've got to get some other Harris heresy figures, right? That I actually quite like. I picked this one up, I think, in, uh, in New Jersey. Was it New Jersey? I'm pretty sure it was New Jersey. I also got these, which are sufficiently rare that they're not on the GW site. Oh, the, the power's gone out. That's very useful. Is it actually recording? Who knows? Who could tell? I think it might be recording. <laughs> anyway, well, whether or not the power works. So yeah, I got a bunch of this stuff. But yeah, I just, I don't know. I'm, it's not even that I'm torn, I'm just bored with the fact that uh, the people that don't pay money for something, and I pay money for all this stuff, don't do good reviews. <laughs> so it's great for promotion, but until you've actually paid money for something, you don't know whether or not it has value within that money. Like, it's a personal, intimate thing. And I think all these YouTube videos, they're just unwrapping a box, which I believe is $250 in the US when it finally comes out. $250 for eight miniatures? I mean, it's got a bunch of cardboard and other things, but that just strikes me as unbelievable gouging. Anyway, so what am I going to do with this channel? Let's talk about some important stuff as well. I was thinking of actually showing some of the miniatures that I've had professionally painted, and I've had pro pro miniatures professionally painted recently by a series of names in the hobby. <laughs> some of these paint jobs aren't particularly good, so this as well could turn into a critical review. I really don't want to give critical reviews associated with painters, because I think, you know, they have good days and bad days and this kind of stuff, but some of the painters that I've used have just been absolutely exceptional, and others sadly have not. So maybe I should just show the exceptional miniatures, work from that premise, anyway. So yeah, I'm going to be reinvigorating the channel, putting this kind of stuff out, and providing a critical voice to all the uh, related cheerleading. And look, don't get me wrong, I, I love seeing YouTube content. I love seeing what's new with Games Workshop and all this kind of stuff. But I'd like to see people actually pay money for the products and then can talk about like value propositions within that. And that currently is lacking from the stuff. And it's not that people can't be critical if they're given something for nothing. 
it's just that the criticality is slightly different than people that actually pay a quarter of a thousand dollars for something. Anyway, they're my thoughts. Thank you for watching.